this is big breaking news that's come in. Covaxin has now finally got the nod, the approval from the WHO. The, in fact, the sources say that emergency use listing status for Covaxin has now been approved. Uh, so this is Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, which has now got the WHO nod. I remember, today was the final meeting uh, of the WHO panel uh, to look into uh, Covaxin's approval and uh, take a final decision and that has happened. Remember, this comes after multiple rounds of meetings that have happened uh, on this, on Bharat, on Covaxin. Uh, a lot more data was asked for from Bharat Biotech. Uh, WHO made it very clear that they cannot take any shortcuts uh, and all the data will have to be examined thoroughly. It all depended on how fast Bharat Biotech could provide that data. Now, finally, the approval has come in. So this comes as a big relief for all those who have been waiting uh, to get this, uh, to ensure that this approval comes in so that uh, they, are, can, they can travel uh, um, uh, much easily. So uh, this coming in as a big, re big relief uh, to several people as well. But uh, after several weeks, several rounds of uh, meetings, this, that this has happened that uh, Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine has got the nod uh, from the World Health Organization. So this is the emergency use approval uh, status uh, that uh, has uh, been granted to Covaxin at this point in time. So Bharat Biotech, uh, the vaccine maker of Covaxin, uh, was asked for more data, was asked on, on multiple occasions, in fact, uh, for different kind of data uh, to ensure that nothing gets overlooked. And uh, WHO has, uh, on uh, more than one occasion, made it clear that uh, the entire due process will have to be followed uh, and which is why it took a long time for this approval to come in so it was a long wait but it has finally come in so those are the details here at this point in time we'll just try and get in our reporter as well to see what else uh, what, what other details are emerging at this point in time so this is the big breaking news coming in uh, this is a relief for all those who have been jabbed with Covaxin. This is a made in India vaccine that has now finally been cleared by the World Health Organization. Uh, so this emergency use listing that has been granted to Covaxin means that all of those who have been jabbed with Covaxin will be able to travel uh, much more easily uh, and uh, will automatically now get included in uh, the, the other countries as well, which are giving automatic uh, you know, travel uh, uh, relief for people who have been granted with the, who have been vaccinated with WHO approved vaccines. Those are the details here at this point in time. So there was a WHO panel meet which was held today uh, and uh, just a short while back. And this approval uh, has now come in uh, for after that WHO panel meet. Uh, this is Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine, which has now got uh, the emergency use listing status. Uh, for Covaxin uh, that has now been approved by the World Health Organization. Those are the details. Uh, this has been a long wait for Covaxin, for the made in India vaccine to be approved by, by WHO. But uh, let's bring in um, more voices here uh, on this. And uh, the, the the, let me, in fact, go across to Dr. Vikas Moria, Fortis Healthcare, who's joining us uh, on the phone line. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Moria, for joining us. Uh, it has been a long wait uh, for Covaxin. There was a lot of back and forth uh, that happened. More data was asked for. But finally, the approval has come in. Uh, I think good moment, and I would say it's a great moment uh, for our country because uh, one of our vaccine, you know, Covaxin has been approved by WHO. And I think uh, this will also, uh, you know, help in, you know, the people who are having uh, the problem, for example, not getting the visa and also, you know, getting the issue of, uh, uh, you know, having, getting them, you know, uh, tested or being, you know, uh, subjected to isolation for 14, 15 days again. And also, this will also give some, you know, uh, uh, you know, for example, uh, people will, I mean, people will become more, you know, that they will now realize, now realize that uh, the vaccine is, Indian vaccine is as good as the, you know, the foreign vaccine. So I think in that context also, you know, the hitch which the people was having, you know, that they will not go with that vaccine, co-vaccine, we will get, you know, another vaccine. So that hitch will also go away. But I think it's a great moment for, you know, uh, for all of us and especially, uh, specifically for a country like India. Yeah. 
Yes, absolutely, Dr. Maria. And you pointed out, uh, uh, you know, for something very important that there has been that hesitancy uh, to take co-vaccine because of the fact that it wasn't yet approved by WHO. And then uh, that perhaps got, you know, reinforced because the, the process got delayed, WHO asking for more data as well. But now, obviously, all of that uh, completely being put to rest and, uh, you know, with this approval coming in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think with this, every all other, you know, the, uh, the hesitancy and HR, you know, brought to the rest. And now, you know, people can have those vaccines, you know, and I think this will also help in, you know, covering more people. Obviously, we have already already covered more than 1 billion people for the vaccine, but I think, you know, this is, again, uh, in the further help in, you know, uh, boosting the vaccination process. And also, people have more, you know, faith in uh, the Indian vaccine as well. Yes, absolutely, Dr. Maria. Thank you so much for joining us uh, with your perspective. Dr. Rajiv Das Gupta, National Task Force, also joining us uh, on the phone line. Dr. Gupta, thank you so much for speaking to us. Your first reaction here, this obviously has been long awaited and perhaps has been the cause of a bit of uh, hesitancy in terms of uh, people, you know, not wanting to take co-vaccine because it has not yet got the approval, had not yet got the approval from WHO, but all of that now... Uh, uh, is put to rest. Thank you. Yes, uh, this was uh, in a sense awaited, but uh, this is a process. The process takes time, and WHO had made it clear all along that it is merely following due process. And uh, therefore, this uh, these few weeks or a couple of months has really been put into that process, and it's good because it reinforces confidence in the product. Yes, absolutely. And do you think that, uh, Dr. Gupta, in some way now this is uh, perhaps going to, uh, you know, because just today the Prime Minister had a meeting with certain districts uh, which were seeing a slow pace of vaccination. Uh, this will perhaps help boost uh, the pace of vaccination even further now. Uh, I don't really think that the two are to be directly linked because uh, some of the districts and some of the states which are relatively slow in vaccination are really predominantly rural districts. And therefore, uh, it's a question of uh, reaching out uh, somewhat more than what probably is happening at present. And that's essentially that the prime minister emphasized upon, that to, to adopt and employ a multitude of strategies for reaching out. So... It needs some recalibration in those districts, but that's something the, the Indian uh, immunization program is very geared to. Our fundamentals are strong, so that's not, not really the, the crisis. Right. In fact, on the other hand, vaccine hesitancy has consistently reduced in India compared to many other countries in the world, given that all of these vaccines are new products. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Dr. Gupta, thank you so much for joining us with your perspective. Uh, let me also go across uh, to my colleague Aishman, who's joining us at this point as well. Aishman, uh, you know, there has been a lot of back and forth as far as co-vaccine was concerned, as far as this approval was concerned. Uh, in fact, the WHO asking for more uh, data, more clarity on multiple occasions. But uh, finally, it has all come through now. Yes, it was the risk assessment uh, that was being done and currently we are being told by the sources that approval has been uh, granted for the emergency use listing to Indian vaccine, which was indigenously developed, the co-vaccine. Uh, the data was uh, being collated and was deliberated upon right from July. And uh, it was expected that by the end of October it will be given, but on 28th October it was said that another set of data has been uh, sought from the manufacturers. And this time this uh, data has been given from Bharat Biotech and currently we are being told by our sources that uh, this emergency use listing to indigenous COVID vaccine uh, by Bharat Biotech has been given. And this, is, this comes a huge relief as people who have taken this vaccine in India will now be able to uh, travel abroad even when there is a vaccine passport tool like uh, European Union and also United Kingdom. So it will be a huge boost for, for uh, but the bigger aspect is that the long pending demand of uh, a Bharat Biotech for emergency use listing of co-vaccine has been granted is what currently our sources are telling us. Yes, absolutely. Ayushman, uh, do stay with us. Let me also go across to Dr. Sunila Garg of the National Task Force, who's with us on the phone line. Dr. Garg, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, this, of course, coming in as a big relief, and it has been long awaited here. Uh, it was uh, quite a, a you know, long process for the approval to come through. Uh, the WHO has granted you know, approval for emergency use listing to Bharat Biotech vaccine. 
and uh, another thing is that you know it's not only helpful in terms of you know um addressing the needs of the people because we have vaccinated still only 12 crore people and now we'll be able to do much more faster with regard to because this gives a boost to the manufacturer as well so i feel that this is a great step and it's a very very good vaccine and we'll be able to address you know the complacency of the people also because we have got we have got a long way to go and i think it's a great step in this direction Yes, absolutely, Dr. Gargan. And like you pointed out, uh, this will perhaps in some way help uh, boost the pace of vaccination as well uh, because we still do have a long way to go to achieve, you know, a, a majority chunk of uh, completely vaccinated uh, citizens. Yes, definitely. All right, Dr. Gar, thank you so much for joining us uh, with your perspective. Uh, let me go back to Ayushman here. Ayushman, if you can now take us through what the next steps are going to be in terms of uh, now that the WHO has approved Covaxin, uh, does it mean that it will automatically, uh, you know, fall under the approved vaccine lists uh, for the various countries or uh, would the countries now, other countries have to uh, include Covaxin before, uh, you know, the, the benefits uh, start of, of easier travel? Well, uh, Avni, even before we could start, uh, the health, uh, top health ministry official has now also once again reiterated that uh, WHO has given the confirmation it is only mere formality that is being awaited from the WHO side when the announcement would be make, uh, made because currently the uh, health ministry sources have also indicated that uh, the WHO has given this uh, emergency use listing permission and currently we are being told that from here on the road is going to be easy for uh, Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine to be uh, to be exported abroad. We have seen India giving few uh, chunk of stock to other countries, but that was only on the mutual uh, understanding. But now it has the emergency use listing. So that means it can actually be exported to other countries and to other uh, uh, part of the world where the vaccine approval, uh, where the uh, vaccine deficiency is there. And with EUL, it clearly is uh, uh, is a line where uh, the vaccine known uh, there is no further need for any approval the vaccine uh, the indigenous made vaccine can be transported and can uh, can be given to other countries as well Right. So uh, absolutely, Ashman. So all of those who have taken co-vaccine at this point in time and who were waiting uh, for this approval to come in so that they could travel freely, uh, it comes as a big relief for everyone. Yes, in fact, I mean, it's a very big relief for all those people who were waiting for the emergency use approval of uh, uh, COVID-19 vaccine, co-vaccine, uh, not only in terms of travel, but also in terms of the uh, the confidence building measure. Because if you see if, if this would have been rejected or it's, if this would have been prolonged, it definitely creates uh, an uncertain doubts in mind of people who have taken this vaccine because the vaccine has been uh, not just given to few people, it has been given to over 12 crore people in India. India, and that's a huge number. There are countries which even don't have that much of population. So it becomes a very, very important landmark for a, a, a country which has made its own vaccine on a, uh, on a whole virion-based uh, module. Uh, this is the first vaccine uh, which has been made in, uh, in that vaccine platform. And it is important to highlight here that we all were eagerly awaiting for this because currently India has now uh, two vaccines. One is Covaxin and the other is Covishield, which is being uh, manufactured by Serum Institute and has been made by AstraZeneca. So both these vaccines are now having emergency use listing, which means that any of the Indians, if they have taken these vaccines, they can travel abroad without any problem uh, because the WHO on itself says that if they have given uh, EWL to uh, EUL to any uh, vaccine, that should be accepted by countries. Even when UK was uh, creating a difference, at that time also WHO had said that there should be no difference created because the WHO approved vaccines are, be uh, are being given. But at that time also, co-vaccines candidature was being discussed. And today, uh, we are getting this from the officials, top officials of the health ministry and also WHO, who are confirming to Mirror now that the uh, COVID-19's uh, India's indigenous vaccine, co-vaccine, has been given the emergency use listing by the WHO. Absolutely, Ayushman. Thank you so much uh, for all of those uh, details. That's a big breaking news at this point in time. India's indigenous vaccine, co-vaccine, has been granted approval, emergency use uh, approval by the World Health Organization. On that note, 